The Life and Sad Ending of Hope Lang. Hope Elise Ross Lang was born November 28, 1933 in Reading, Connecticut. Her father, John George Lang, was a cellist and the music arranger for Florence Ziegfeld and conductor for Henry Cohen. Her mother, Minette, was an actress. They had three daughters, Minelda, born 1922, Joy, born 1927, and Hope, and a son, David. John worked in New York City, and the family moved to Greenwich Village when Hope was a young child. Lang sang with other children in the play Life, Laughter, and Tears, which opened at the Booth Theater in March 1942. At age nine, Lang had a speaking part in the award-winning Broadway play The Patriots, which opened in January 1943. John Lang died in September 1942, but the family stayed in New York City. Minette ran a restaurant on McDougal Street near Washington Square Park from 1944 to 1956. The name was Minette's of Washington Square, although some sources confuse it with Minetta Tavern, an Italian restaurant on McDougal Street founded in 1937. The entire family worked in the restaurant. The oldest daughter, Minelda, ran the cash register, while Joy and Hope waited on tables. While attending high school, Lang studied dance, modeled, and worked in the family restaurant. She sometimes walked the dog of former First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, who had a nearby apartment. When her photo appeared in the newspaper, she received an offer to work as a New York City advertising model. She appeared on the June 1949 cover of Radio Electronics magazine wearing the Man from Mars radio hat. This portable radio, built into a pith helmet, was a sensation in 1949. Lang attended Reed College in Portland, Oregon for one year, studying dance and theater before subsequently transferring to Barmore Junior College in New York. She met her first husband, Don Murray, at Barmore. She began working in television in the 1950s with appearances on Kraft Television Theater, which caught the eye of a Hollywood producer. Lang came to prominence in her first film role in The Bus Stop with Marilyn Monroe and Don Murray, whom she married on April 14, 1956. Murray later said that Monroe grew jealous of another blonde being hired for the movie and asked the studio producers to dye Lang's blonde hair light brown. As a result of favorable reviews, Lang landed a major role in the then risque 1957 film Peyton Place. Her strong performance earned her a nomination for a Golden Globe Award and another for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. She would become a rather well-recognized supporting actress of ingenue ro roles. She went on to appear in Nicholas Ray's film The True Story of Jesse James in 1957 as James's wife, opposite Robert Wagner. She appeared in The Young Lions alongside Montgomery Clift. She starred as the wife of Jeffrey Hunter's character in Anton Mirror's wartime drama In Love and War released 1958. These roles eventually led to Lang earning top billing as the, in The Best of Everything in 1959 with Susie Parker and Joan Crawford. Lang appeared as Elvis Presley's older psychologist's love interest in Wild in the Country in 1961, despite being only 13 months Elvis's senior. She then appeared in Frank Capra's final movie, Pocket Full of Miracles, alongside Glenn Ford. The next year, she appeared with Ford again in the romantic comedy, Love is a Ball. Lang returned to television for a 1966 role on the series, The Fugitive, 1963. She starred from 1968 to 1970 on the television series, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, for which she earned two Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe Award nomination. The success was followed by three seasons on the new Dick Van Dyke show as Dick Van Dyke's wife, Jenny Preston, from 1971 to 1974, after which she declined to return for the fourth season of the show. She also appeared in 12 television movies, one being Crowhaven Farm, where she played the role of a witch. In 1977, she returned to the Broadway stage where her acting career had originally begun. She also played the murdered wife of Charles Bronson's vigilante character in Death Wish, 1974. 
In 1985, she appeared in A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. And in 1986, she took a role as Laura Dern's mother in David Lynch's Blue Velvet. She took a Broadway role in the same time next year, and then made appearances in the television movie based on Danielle Still's Message from Nam and In Clear and Present Danger, 1994. Lang made appearances in The Main Town, which Peyton Place had been filmed during the film's 40th anniversary celebrations in 1998. In her personal life, Lang's first marriage was to actor Don Murray, who she met while filming his breakout role in Bus Stop with Marilyn Monroe in 1956. They had two children, actor Christopher Murray and photographer Patricia Murray. Lang left Don Murray in 1961 for actor Glenn Ford, associate producer and co-star of Pocket Full of Miracles. They had a four-year relationship. She and Ford never married. She then left acting for three years after her October 19, 1963 marriage to producer-director Alan J. Pakula, whom she divorced in 1971. In 1972, she also dated Frank Sinatra and began a relationship with married novelist John Cheever. In 1986, she married theatrical producer Charles Hollerith Jr., with whom she remained for the rest of her life. Sadly, Lang died on December 19, 2003 at St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica, California as a result of an ischemic colitis infection at the age of 70. Her body was cremated.